Welcome to David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium for this matchup between your Mule Shoe Mules and the Lanisa Golden Tornadoes. Game number two for both squads in this 2020 season. We'll be taking you on our live stream to the full senior spotlight that will take place on the track in just a few minutes in its entirety. And then after that, our pregame show with our voice of the Mules, Elliot Davis, full game coverage with halftime performance by the Mighty M Band. Gillen Advertising live stream coverage of Mule She Mules football brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Welcome Leal's to Tortilla Boy Factory, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Mule Auto Parts, Mule Shoe Housing Authority, Ang Bang, Mule Shoe Independent School District, Bywise Home and Auto, Herford Feed Ingredients, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's Restaurant, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, k k Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Mule Shoe Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, and McCormick Seeds Incorporated. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Mark Morton today. The Muleshoe High School Acceleration and Collegiate Academy was created to assist the college. We have Eli Aspen being escorted by Christy Garcia and Juan Cruz. We have Victor Solano being escorted by Maria Solano. Next we have Joe Which one is that? We have Here. Joey Here. Martinez. She's going escorted by Martin. Janet Martinez. We have Brayden the Shipman, also part of the Mighty Ann Marching Band. Next, we have Kirk Rodriguez, being escorted by Shannon Chapman and Toby Martinez. Next, we have Aaron Espinoza being escorted by Mary and Sam Espinoza. Next, we have Elias Aguirre being escorted by Anna and Alex Aguirre. Next, we have Victor Velasquez being escorted by our senior athletic trainers, Ivana Rivas, being escorted by David Rivas and Donna Ellis. Next we have Navea Herrera, being escorted by Bernardo and Ecstasy Herrera. We would also like to recognize our cross-country athletes. Christina Arizona, also a cheerleader. Next, we have Heather Chavez, also a cheerleader. We have Brandon Ramirez, being escorted by Gina Ramirez and Carla Ramirez. Next, we're going to recognize our Mighty Ann Marching Band members. We have Michelle Alvarez, being escorted by Angelica Alvarez. Next, we have Jeremy Hernandez, being escorted by Yavet Hernandez. Next, we have the Aguilanda Landeros, being escorted by Juana and Jacobo Landeros. We have Priscilla Medina, 
being escorted by Maria and Gustavo Rodriguez. Next is Kristen Pope, being escorted by Alicia and Jeff Pope. Next we have Jacob Rodriguez, being escorted by Arcelli and Adam Rodriguez. We have Terry Sims, being escorted by Mitch and Michelle Sims. Next we have Isaac Vargas, being escorted by Rose Espinoza and AJ Flores. Recognizing our cheerleaders, we have Ariel Gadetta, being escorted by Well, we hope that you enjoyed the live look at the senior spotlight that took place here at David Wood Field at Benny Douglas Stadium prior to the Mule Shoe Mules versus La Mesa Golden Tornadoes game. And our coverage of all this live tonight through our live stream on Gilliam Advertising brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Mule Shoe Housing Authority, Ain Bank, Mealshoe Independent School District, Bywise Home and Auto, Hereford Feed Ingredients, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's Restaurant, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, K&K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Mealshoe Area Med Medical Clinic, Dell Oil Company, and McCormick Seeds. Make sure to say thanks to all of our sponsors as they're bringing this live to you here uh, from the Friday night, September the 4th, 2020, game two in the season and the first season under our new athletic director, head football coach Jason Richards for the Mule Shoe Mules and in this uh, 3A matchup between the Mules and La Mesa Golden Tornadoes. We'll have live for you tonight more coming up, including our pregame with our voice of the Mule Shoe Mules, Elliot Davis. We'll have live as well the school song. Uh, performed by the Mighty um, Band, and then followed that, the National Anthem, and then kickoff, full game coverage, and then at halftime, we'll bring you live as well the bro uh, broadcast performance of the Mighty M Band, along with some of La Mesa's performance as well from their band at halftime, all brought to you by the courtesy of our sponsors. This week, we shot a video with the Yulshu High School principal, Cindy Basir along with the director of the new MHS Academic and Collegiate Academy, April Smith, along with some other administrators and a lot of the students that are taking this Academic and Collegiate Academy. If you didn't see our video with them at the first of the broadcast, we're going to play it again for you here. And now the MHS Academic and Collegiate Academy, followed by a message from a couple of our sponsors.
The Milshoe High School Acceleration and Collegiate Academy was created to assist the college-bound student with ACT, SAT, and TSI preparation and dual credit enrollment. This year, a few freshmen will be attending the academy to prepare for dual credit classes in the fall and will begin taking dual credit classes in the spring. These students will have an opportunity to earn an associate's degree from South Plains College before graduating from Milshoe High School. All right, our vision statement for the academy is removing obstacles and promoting individual achievement in order to positively impact current and future generations. Basically what we want to do is we want to set a foundation for even our freshmen on up to get college credits now and in the future we should have some graduates that will graduate from college with associates before they ever cross the stage as a high school graduate. Hi, I'm Nathan Ferguson. I chose to be in the academy because I would like to get my dual credits out early as well as save me money in the long run. Uh, the dual credit classes I'm taking this year are psychology, history, and second semester it will also be art appreciation. Hi, I'm Michaela Hasloff. I'm a sophomore in the academy. And I like the Academy because it gives me time to practice ACT and SAT scores to better them so that I have more scholarship opportunities in the future. My name is Caitlin Kelly and I'm a senior in the Academy. I'm in the Academy because this place helps me stay on top of all of my college classes. This year I'm in public speaking, fitness and wellness, and ag economics. My name is Brenna Butler. I'm a student and freshman at the Academy. And I want to be a part of the Academy because it gives me an opportunity um, to prepare for college and it helps me understand what college will be like in the future. Hello, my name is Avery Hasloff. I'm a sophomore at Milshu High School and I'm enrolled in the academy to prepare myself for college by taking dual credit classes and preparing for the ACT, SAT, and TSI. The mission of the Academy here at Muleshoe High School is to meet individual needs by providing challenging and innovative academic opportunities. We love that in the Academy, students get their individual needs net, met by um, working on the coursework for their college future. We know every kid's future looks different and we're excited to prepare each of them for what they need. We believe in our Academy students and the successful futures that await them. We believe it is important for them to be responsible learners who truly value a strong education and who are ready to work hard through any challenges they may face. The Academy is here to support these students in their endeavors. The Academy will offer Muleshoe High School students a unique opportunity to prepare for their future. Muleshoe ISD is building the future one student at a time. Brian Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas, supporting the mules and lady mules. Get your Muleshoe mule flags here now. All proceeds benefit the Muleshoe Athletic Booster Club. The manager's special for September is the bypass lopper and pruner set regularly $24.99, now slashed to $9.97 while supplies last. Kids' masks are just in, and also a new selection of reasonably priced in 95 mass get a box of 20 now at frying cox another manager special for september is the 32 gallon rectangle wheeled trash can marked down to 14.99 frying cox also has just replenished their stock of antibacterial hand wash and soap hand sanitizer and lots to choose from and disinfectant sanitizers as well a second special of the month for september is get two for six mix or match a 9.8 ounce clear silicone sealant 12 ounce foam sealant all available now at frying cox 401 south first street in muleshoe texas they're open monday through saturdays 8 a.m until 6 p.m in life some things just go together like a burger and fries and home and auto insurance from state farm combine and save talk to state farm agent mark morton today We'll have our pregame starting here in just a few moments with our voice of the Mules and Mules, Elliot Davis. That coming up along with the national anthem, the school song, and the Mules and the kickoff from David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium between your Mule Shoe Mules and the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes.
Welcome all to David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium for today's dis non-district matchup between your meals and the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes. Tonight we are recognizing Senior Night to honor all of our seniors that we have here at the school. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the meals. Uh, we're coming to you live under the Friday Night Lights here with Gil Lamb Advertising Channel 6 Mill Shoe. Just a reminder, we are streaming uh, in all our platforms, just search Channel 6 Mill Shoe or go to channel6.com uh, to find us. Uh, just a reminder next week, the Mill Shoe High School Senior Class will be having a pregame dinner. It's a Fiesta Paolon. We'll be ho uh, playing Friona. That'll be Friday, September 11th uh, this year. And it'll be a Fiesta Paolon with fixings, dessert, and tea. Very yummy, yummy. It'll be held here at the uh, Milshoe High School Cafeteria starting at 5 o'clock. The cost will run at $8. There are no deliveries. It's dine-in and carry-out only. So see any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance or pay at the door. So the Mules will come in 0-1 this week after a very close loss to Sundown last week, 0-6. It was a really good game. Uh, Milshu came in. They ran a total of about 43 plays, had 158 yards. It's a very big defensive game for them. Um, Zach Hasley passed for 102 yards. He's 11 for 22. Uh, last week, it was a really good game for him. The running backs did really good too, but it was all defense. If you watched it, you can go back and watch it on our YouTube Um the Mules did a great job holding up, just holding the Sundown Roughnecks to six points but couldn't get anything done. On the other hand, Lamisa comes in 0-1 with their loss, 8-35 to to San Angelo Lakeview. So Lamisa right here, their starters on the offensive line are going to be number 67 sophomore Tristan Maxwell, number 75 senior Charles Ains. Number 67, senior Isaac Reyes. Number 50, senior Noah Vera. Number 64, senior Fernando Trejo. Number 5, senior J.P. Salazar. Number 13, senior at wide receiver, you have Max Rodriguez. Number 11, sophomore wide receiver Luke Martinez. They're led at quarterback by number 6, senior Josh Marquez. Number 2, senior Paul Espinoza is their fullback. Number 24, sophomore Keaton Bolton is going to be in the right slot at wide receiver. On their defense side, they have on the line, number 12, Cam Diaz, he's a senior. 64, Fernando Trejo, he's a senior. Number 50, senior Noah Vera. Number 71, senior Alexander Robinson. 55, senior Mark Garza. Number 4, junior Josiah Zabata. And then in their backfield in the middle linebacker areas, they have number one senior Robert Martinez, 32 senior Paul Espinoza, number seven freshman Pedro Barrios, number 10 Damon Ramirez, he's a senior, and number 11 Luke Martinez, he's a sophomore. And here's your Mules roster. You have number one, Matt Fabela. He's a wide receiver on offense, linebacker, defense, and he's a senior. We are now doing our moment of silence and prayer, so we will pause for that. now be also doing the school songs.
We'll continue on the Milshu Mills roster here with number two, Judas Reyes, wide receiver, defensive back. He's a sophomore. Three, Eli Macias, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Number four, Zach Hasley. He's your quarterback, defensive back, junior. Number five, Victor Solano, running back, linebacker, senior. Number seven, Joey Gutierrez, running back, linebacker, senior. Number eight, Brennan Davis, wide receiver, linebacker, junior. Number 11, Irvin Torres, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. Number 12, Joey Martinez, running back, linebacker, senior. Number 13, Jeremiah Baron, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Number 14, Davian McCullen, wide receiver, linebacker, sophomore. Number 19, Ariel Vasquez, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. Number 21, Elisar Centineros, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. Number 22, Christian Morales. Tell him. Defensive coordinator Chris Moser, defensive coordinator Daryl Davis, assistant coaches are Aaron Simmons, Stephen Butler, Jackson Lee, AJ Villanueva, Charles Hurst, Austin Ross, James Hopper, Ross Johnson, Zach Toscano, Josh Huffman, Stephen Seymour. Your superintendent is Dr. R. L. Richards, and the high school principal is Cindy Basir. And just a reminder, this game is sponsored by Bear Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Liao's Tortilla Factory, Milshu Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshu Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Milshu ISD, Buy Wise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body and Autoplex. McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, &K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Powers, Milshu Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, McCormick Seed. Make sure you see all of our sponsor ads on the front page of our website, MilshuTV.com, or on our Facebook page, Gil Lamb Advertising or Channel 6 Milshu. So the Meals coming in, looking for their first win of the season, and also is Mr. Jason Richards at head coach. He's also looking for his first win of the season for the Meals. Milshu did a really great job last week. Defensively, like I said, they've been able to hold the Sundown Roughnecks to uh, only 277 yards and only 72 passing yards during that time but sundown was able to get downfield a couple times if i remember they had three turnovers that game they had two fumbles and then they threw an interception and kind of it was an even playing field between penalties both teams only having 25 yards worth of penalties um from what i've remembered last week uh, passing yards for the Milshu. Milshu only got 102 yards. Rushing yards, they were at 56. Uh, Milshu wasn't able to really go too far anywhere on offense with only seven first downs. Uh, Sundown, on the other hand, having 18. Um, 
but unable to do anything on offense except for scoring a touchdown. Uh, they did miss a two-point conversion, which led them to only winning the game 0-6, to six, which gave Milshu their 0-1 season start. But we look to turn around today and on senior night. Um, Zach Hasley, once again, he passed 402 yards. He was 11 for 22 with his longest pass of the game for 43 yards. Joey Martinez rushed for 43 yards on 11 carries. Christian Morales ran for 25 yards on three carries. Both running backs were very, very efficient, switching on and off, being able to carry the ball and go the distance on some plays but unable to get into the end zone. I know Milshu on the final plays of the game were able get in there, run a couple plays, and it was a quarterback keeper by Hasley going up the left side last week, and he was unable to convert the fourth down just by short by inches, which led to the turnover on downs with only less than a minute left for Sundown taking the ball and going victory formation to win their first game of the season. Um, wide receiver wise, Jeremiah Barone had two receptions for 48 yards. Eli Macias had four catches for 18 yards. Uh, Irvin Torres last year, he did a great job. If you watch our games last year, you can go back and watch them on on uh, YouTube, and you can see uh, how productive uh, Irvin Torres was last year. He did a very good job coming in. Him and Jer Jeremiah Barone both were very productive last year off of the slot and the outside receiver. Um, on defense, Brand Davis doing a good job having set seven tackles. Doc Gardner got in there a couple times. I remember, remember him getting a few sacks last week too. This team is very good. It's the first game of the season last week, and the only thing I can think of is jitters. Football experience, first games were always – um, big and here comes the meals out of the tunnel here and like I was saying first game of the week very jittery or first game of the season you're always very jittery it's always nerve wracking and you just have to get it out of you and eventually you kind of start finding this stride and this consistency that uh, you'll be able to go in and play. And uh, defense, I think, found it before offense, but I really do think that this week the offense is going to get uh, be going on all cylinders. But we'll find out and see. And... Uh, Back on our defense stats here, Brendan Davis and Ir Irvin Torres uh, both got themselves interceptions, and Matt Favela was the one that did pull in the fumble for the meal. So um, both have really good hands on defense out there in the linebacker position, safety position, really good vision and awareness on where the ball's going. Um, I honestly really look forward to a meal shoe victory today. I really think we can do it. Um, going into this game with with how good of a defense we have. Offense is honestly a timing issue. If right now we are going to be doing the national anthem here, which will be played by the mighty M Band.
All right, we're going to have the coin toss here and uh, see who gets the ball first. And um, like I was going back and saying, I really think Milshoe has a big chance today to win this game. Offense is just a timing issue. And it's something that happens in the first game of the season. I think with Zach Hasley at quarterback, I think um, Milshoe coming out with him is – is uh, he's a very good quarterback, really good at reading the backfield. Um, offensive line was really, really good, uh, not allowing I think, but maybe one sack last week. Uh, Zach had to roll out the pocket a couple of times, but that was um, in disguise blitzes from sundown coming on those plays. Let's see, for the coin toss, you have number one, Matt Fabela, number four, Zach Hasley, 51. You have Mario Gordardo, 79, Elias Aguirre. And it looks like you also have number eight, Brennan Davis, down there to go out there for your team captains today. Uh, here comes La Misa now out of their tunnel. La Misa coming in, and they are a very senior-heavy team looking at their roster. Um, got four up, actually five up there on the offensive line with the addition of the, or including J.P. Salazar out there on tight end. Then in the wide receiver area, they got two, and then they have a senior quarterback, Josh Marquez, who is leading them. Then on defense, it's seniors all across the board on the defensive line. And then they have a junior out there on the right end. And then another senior or two seniors out there in the linebacker position. But then they have the lone freshman out there in safety. So a lot of experience coming in here for the Golden Tours. So the coin toss is going up. And it looks like Lamisa is going to receive it. So Lamisa is going. Yep, Lamisa is going to take it. They're going to take it on the north end zone here. And that's number 67, Isaac Reyes, the senior for La Misa, for their captain. So, Mills will kick it off here, which means they will get it in the second half. So, we get the home opener here for the Mills kicked off. I like to say that we are streaming now. We've uh, upgraded a lot of equipment to be able to stream this game and uh, make sure that you find us on MillshootTV.com. We will also be streaming on Facebook and also on Gil Lamb Channel 6 Millshoe. If you search that on YouTube, we will pop up on there also. So kicking off is number four, Zach Hasley here. Back to receive is going to be number four, Josiah Zapata for the Golden Tours. And our home opener, Senior Night, is about to get kicked off here. And we will get started. It's going to be a little squib here. It's going to go out of bounds. Number 13, Max Rodriguez almost got a hold that. He stopped right before. He had the idea. You could see it where he was wanting to go up and grab it, but it's probably a good idea that he didn't. Defense will come out for the mules here. And like I said last week, a really, really good defensive front there. For the meals, you have uh, Jacob Reyes, Nick Reyes, Elias Aguirre, Eric Vasquez, Ricardo Gonzalez right up there. And they're going to put a man in motion here. Lamisa is going to be handed off to 32. He's going to go nowhere. It looks like 55. Or really just the whole defensive line read that really good. 
You got 55 in there. Uh, Kurt Rodriguez coming out of the backfield on the top left, is kind of in the middle there, coming up and getting the tackle there. Be second down here for Lamisa, about second down and one. And Joshua Marquez is going to hand it off here again, and he's going to keep it himself. And he got speed going around the corner. He's going to be tripped up about a yard shy of the stick here. So Marquez taking the ball here and going up for the tours. Be third down and one here. So third down and one here for the tours. Let's see what they do. They gone left, they gone right. It's been a keeper, it's been a handoff. So here comes the mule stacking up the box here. Here comes the blitz, and he's going to be stopped. Let's see if they're going to give it to him. It looks like they might. Yes, they will. Just enough for the first down. So Brendan Davis getting in there for the plug up, and he was able to stop any more yardage, but it was just enough yardage for Lamisa to get the first down first and 10 with 10.22 left here in the first quarter so Marquez is going to send another man in motion here he's going to keep it himself and he's going to get five yards there so Marquez now I would say he's in double digits already about 14 yards here is what he's ran on this series So Josh Marquez and he's going to slip by one guy and he's going to be forced out of bounds here but not before he gets the first down down to the 30 yard line of Milshu here the tours go first and 10 for the Lamisa Golden Tornadoes So first and 10 at the Milshoot 30 yard line for the Golden Tours. And it's been all run here, no pass yet. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a play action pass here by Marquez. And it's gonna be a handoff here up the middle. He has nowhere to go. They're saying, you see, Milshu came out with the ball, but I think he, the Golden Tour was down before. Whistles blew, so it'll be second down and eight here. Lamisa's ball still. Switching out personnel, Lamisa in his number 13, Max Rodriguez. Second down, Lamisa putting another man in motion here, stacking up the box, and he has nowhere to go. Blitz coming in, stacking the box was a good decision here for the Mules. Is that's going to plug up the hole. Third down and eight here for the Golden Tours. So Lamisa having going two times there up the gut and not able to do anything. Once again, like I was saying, the defensive line, the Mules just big and powerful up front able to plug up holes the middle linebackers got really good eyes and are able to read that backfield really well Marquez on that quarterback it's gonna be a pass here it comes and balls in the air over the head intended receiver number two Robert Dimas it's a freshman brings up fourth down here for the Golden Tours fourth and eight So quarterback's still in. I could see him down there. So let's see what they do here. Fourth down. I'd assume they go for it at this field position. So we are 8.03 left here in the first quarter. Zero to zero is your score.
So here it comes. It's going to be a pass here. And he is lit up. There's a flag. So there's an ineligible receiver downfield. That's look what that's what the uh, penalty looks to be. Turnover on downs. It'll be Milshu's ball. So good job on the defense there. Getting a stop down here in their own territory. So 758 left here in the first quarter. The Mills offense will come out, led by Zach Hasley. So here we go, Zach Hasley, a quarterback, got trips down low here. And it's going to be a pass out to number 13, who's going to take it up the left side here. He's going to get first down and some more down at about the 42-yard line here. It's Jeremiah Baron, very speedy kid coming out now. He's going to switch out with, uh, looks like Joey Martinez is out there now to the right of Hasley. Zach Hasley giving direction here. Play clock is at 12. Needs to get the snap off here. Hand off to Joey Martinez up the middle. Good chunk of yardage there for Joey Martinez as uh, we got a little pass out to the right going up the right side and now a run up the middle. And now the Mules are looking to not really slow down as they're not huddling. No huddle offense here for the Mules. It is a nice warm summer day or what I would say is we're really close to fall here so we're kind of in the upper 80 lower 90s here here comes the blitz it's gonna be number 12 Joey Martinez going up the left side good blocks up front Joey Martinez going and he's gonna be forced out of bounds at the 32 yard line of the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes Milshu first down here. First and 10 at the, they're going to mark him at the Lamisa 31 here. Joey Martinez going up the middle. Now on the left side. Good job, Joey Martinez on the running. Very powerful back. And here's the handoff again. Joey Martinez had nowhere to go. Bumping into his own guy. Going up the right side. He's going up to 25. It looks like he's going to be brought down. Ball comes out. And they're going to give it to Lamisa here. The ball got popped out here at about the 17-yard line. And I thought it looked like it went out of bounds, but the side judge, judge there said, uh, nope. And it will be Lamisa's ball. 631 left here in the first quarter. Lamisa will start deep into their own territory here at their own 15 yard line. So, little technical errors there. As, uh, the Meals had a really good drive going a total of almost about 60 plus yards there. And then turning it over. So first and 10 for Lamisa here. It's Marquez is going to put number 11 in motion here. It's going to be a handoff here. And he's going to be met. Balls out. Second down and 12 here. Ball came out here. And it was kind of like a butter ball on the ground. Everybody was trying to get it but kept slipping out but it looks like Lamisa came up with it second down and about 12 for the Golden Tours so we are now less than six minutes here in the first quarter scoreless so Josh Marquez at quarterback here Milshu stack in the box and he's going to pass it here He's going to go really deep, way over the head here. Third and 12 here for the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes. The intent receiver is Keaton Bolton. So good pressure on the quarterback there by the Milshu D. 
defense. A little bit of a delay blitz there coming up the middle. As, as uh looked like Brandon Davis that got in there, and he saw just the gate open up and just took the chance to go in there. It's another pass here. It's going to be a quick pass out. So Luke Martinez, number 11, the intended receiver there for Lamisa, brings up fourth down, and I would punt it here. So fourth down and long here, about fourth and 13, or fourth and 12, I'm sorry, for the Lamisa Golden Tours. Back to receive is going to be number one, uh, Matt Fabela, for your Milshoe Mills. Uh, it's going to be a punt here, kind of going side to side. They're going to let it go. And Milshu will start off kind of in a similar place where they were last time at about the 29-yard line, their own 29-yard line. So last time Milshu was in possession of the ball, they drove it from the 30 down to about the 20, fumbled it on the 15. Lamisa took it and went for and out. Milshu defense once again proving to – be very very dangerous up there on the line running a hurry up forcing a fumble not recovering that fumble but also stopping the tours and only burning maybe a minute off this game off of the clock here with 518 here left in the first quarter zero zero Zach Hasley here is going to hand it off and he is met immediately but unable to get the tackle here so, helmet came off here, and we'll see what happens. There's going to be a flag down. So, personal foul face mask on the Golden Tours, and that's going to take... Milshu up a bit here. First down, Milshu, and they will mark it at, I assume, the 44 yard line here of Milshu after that face mask penalty. But with the mask coming off, Joey Martinez will have to sit out of play. So first and 10 for the meals here. Zach Hasley's going to keep it himself, and he has a man going way over his head. That's uh, Elisar Cincineros out there, number 21. So second down here in 10 at the Milshoe 44-yard line clock stopped at 448 here in the first quarter. We are still scoreless. So Zach Hasley is going to take the snap, go up the middle here. Number one, Matt Fabela, in and out of the hands of Matt Fabela. Matt Fabela dropping that pass. Hopefully just jitters, getting the jitters out here. Third down for the Mills. Same formation here, two receivers to the top and two receivers to the bottom of your screen here. And that's going to be a free play here, taking it downfield. And that's going to be LSR Cincinnatos, the antenna receiver. But we'll repeat third down here, but we'll move five yards closer for the offsides penalty. So good job by the Mules there. Good job on the center for getting the snap off there. Zach Hasley nearly putting the bread in the basket for Cincinnatos out there kids fast he's been able to get away from his man off the edge there has been open a couple of times just just out of his reach just a little bit so third down here and it's going to be a pass out that's going to be completed talk about bread in the basket that's number 11 urban torres good pass by zach hasley there Look like an email sending through the internet there. Just boom, boom. How fast that was. That was a bullet out of Zach Hasley's arm there. 
into the hands of Irvin Torres for the Milshu first down. First 10 Milshu here, handoff to number 22 here. He's going to go up, and he's going to put his head down, and he'll get another first down. That's going to be Christian Morales. Like I said last week, the two Christian Morales and Joey Martinez, the combination between the two able to switch in and out, have been very dynamic. Dynamic duo is what I would call it out there in the backfield. A good blocking up front there brings up second down and actually they're about inches short here of the first down is there in La Mesa Golden Tour territory here so the Zach Hasley going to take the handoff up the middle that's going to be uh, Morales taking up the middle first down Mules good little push there good play up the middle to be able to get the first down for Milshu here So first and 10 here for the Mules. So they look off to the sideline here. Two receivers down low, two receivers to the top of your screen here. Coaches don't like what they see here. Maybe change some stuff up here. Zach Hasley is going to take the delay here. It's a weird play. Irvin Torres getting the catch, though. It's going to be good for about... Four yards, five yards there. Forced out of bounds at the La Mesa 25-yard line. Second down and five to go here for your Mills. So second and five for the Mills. We are 240 left here in the first quarter. Still scoreless. Last time Mills were down here, a run and fumble. But it's going to be a run here by number 12, Joey Martinez. And he scrambled around, missed one guy, missed another guy. But... It looks like it was just kind of a disguise blitz there up the line. Kind of got a little confused. It's going to be a loss of about a yard there. Third down and six here for the Mules. Mules need to get up to the 20-yard line here for the first down. We're currently at the 26. So pass out here. It's number one, number one, Matt Fabela going up the left side here. Forced out of bounds. First down, Mules. Inside the red zone we go. First and 10 at the La Mesa Golden Tour. Looks like 17 yard line here. So Milshu, and they took the top off the Jeep and we're taking a stroll down the side of the beach here as we are on a drive. First and 10 mules. And that's gonna be, it should be a free play here. That's gonna be number three. He's open, touchdown mules, Ila Macias. Zach Hasley connects with Eli Macias out there for the 17-yard touchdown. First touchdown of the season there for the Mules. 155 left here in the first quarter. Mule shoe six, La Misa zero. And the penalty will be declined here. And coming out to kick here. And we're not kicking. We are going to go for two here. I see who that is. That looks like Irvin Torres, number 11. The sun's glaring on the back of his jersey. And Irvin Torres is going to keep it. The kid got speed. Look at him put his head down. Two-point conversion, good. 8-0 is going to be your score here. Good job, Irvin Torres. Good job, Zach Hasley. And good job, Eli Macias, on that drive. 8-0 is your score here for the Mules. Mules will now kick it off here. There's a good job by the offense there. A good combination of running, passing, and a very, very good drive. You know, just chipping away here at yardage getting first down going third down getting first down being able to convert the third downs has been a very very big thing that the meals needed to work on since the sundown game and they've looked to have improved tenfold here as the offense was able to get something done this time and in all honesty the first drive they had they should have scored on but um just a little bit of a bump in the road with the intercept or a fumble 
there on the first drive for the Mules, but nevertheless, the Mules did it on the second drive. 8-0, 155 left here in the first quarter. Zach Hasley to kick it off. Back to receive is going to be Josiah Zapata for the Mules. Let's see if they can get it this time. That's our ball. That's Mills ball. Number 32, Paul Espinoza dives for it before it crosses the line and it goes in and out of his hands. He makes a second effort, but not good enough before the Mules get the ball. So the Mules having another chance here with 152 left here in the first quarter. Eight to zero is the score in favor of your Mules. Offense is coming back out. So good job by Zach Hasley there. Kind of a wobbly kick, but it worked. So first and 10 here for the Mules. Zach Hasley, I'd assume the handoff here is going to be Joey Martinez taking up the middle. Good blocks up the middle here. Joey Martinez dancing. Look at him go. Breaking tackles left and right. First down for the Mules. Mule shoe first down here. Good run by Joey Martinez going up the left side, dancing around and being able to get it done here. So Brendan Davis going in motion here, being brought inside here. And it's going to be another handoff here to Joy Martinez. And putting his head down. Look at him go! First down, Mules here. Ten yards plus some change there. Good enough for a first down. Milshu in La Mesa territory here at the La Mesa 25-yard line. Joey Martinez is going to come out 22. Christian Morales is going to come in. The dynamic duo switching out here. So let's see what happens here. We're 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Let's see if Milshu can get in before then. Hand off here to Morales. He's going to go up the middle here. Puts his head down too. Gets about maybe four yards there. Don't mark him at three yards. So second down and seven here for the Mules. Game clock, 16. Play clock at 30. So I assume Mulesu is going to let it run out here. And they may try to get a playoff here. And I think they're just going to, yeah, they're going to wait here. First quarter ends, 8-0 to zero is your score with Milshu. Little recap there, Zach Hasley connecting with number three, Eli Macias. And then number 11, Irvin Torres taking the two-point conversion in in that quarter. Defense stout, stopping La Misa two times there. And this game is brought to you by Bear Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Liao's Tortilla Factory, Milshu Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshu Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Milshu ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, k Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshu Area Medical Center, Dale Oil Company, McCormick Seed. Make sure you see all of our sponsor ads on the front page of our website, MilshuTV.com, or on our Facebook page, Gillam Advertising Channel 6 Milshu. We are also streaming. If you are on MilshuTV.com, there will be a link on there. If you're on Facebook, there's also a link, and we should be live on Facebook. And live on our YouTube channel, Channel 6 Milshu. Just search Gil Lamb Advertising, Channel 6 Milshu. So, start of the second quarter here. Be second down and seven here for the Mules. So, we are in deep into La Mesa territory here. 
So Zach Hasley's going to take it, and he's going to pass it out there. He's going to heave it up, and that's just in and out of the hands. The intended receiver, Irvin Torres, as we'll call his name a lot of times this season. The kid is fast, and when he gets the ball and he has a little open space, he is gone. A little sub out here. Brandon Davis coming out. Matt Fabela coming in. Irvin Torres coming out. And I did not see who he subbed. It looked like number three, Eli Macias, is in now. So Zach Hasley, a little quick out there to Matt Fabela. And look at him go. He stepped out of bounds, though. It's about a yard short of the first down here. Is third down and a couple here to go for the Mules. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fourth down now. Fourth down and two here for the Mules. Let's see what they do. It's going to be a little in and out pass to Matt Fabale, who goes up the left side here. A little disguised screen. First down, Mules. It's a good, good play call there as uh, Lamisa was bringing the house there and just enough blocking up front, kind of plugged up all the holes. And then all of a sudden, Matt Fabela comes down and Zach Hasley gets the pass out to him. Left side up and first and goal here for the Meals as we are at the 10-yard line. 10 yards to go here. Meals are up 8-0. to zero. A little confusion out there for Lamisa, and that looks to be a touchdown. Joey Martinez. There's a flag on the play, though, so let's see what happens here. I think it might be offsides. Is There's a little bit of confusion there on the bottom part of your screen with the Lamisa middle linebackers. Personal foul, face mask. Lamisa, penalty decline, touchdown, Mules. 14 to 0 is going to be your score with 11.33 left here in the second quarter. So Eli Macias on the first one, Joey Martinez on the second one, Zach Hasley passing to Eli Macias on that first one. Milshu goes up two scores here in the second quarter. And here we go again. Let's see what Lamisa does here to adjust for this. Irvin Torres is back there putting Matt Fabelli in motion here. And it's a false start. And looks like he got up there in the line of scrimmage too quick. So retry here for this. Illegal procedure here on the mules. Retry on that second attempt here. It looks like they're just gonna go for the extra point here. Number 64, Alexander, or I'm sorry, Alex Regalado to attempt the extra point here. Snap is a little slow and that it's gonna be blocked. No flags on the play. Point after attempt is no good. Keeps the score 14 to 0 for your meals here. So a little update there. Good, good drive by the meals. Another good drive. How it started off was Zach Hasley doing a little bit of an onside kick there. It was supposed to be a squib kick. Went in and out of the hands of a Lamisa Golden Tour. And then from there, the Mules just took a drive on down the field with uh Joey Martinez taking the ball in for the Mill Shoe Mill touchdown. So with 11.33, it's 14-0 in favor of your meals here. And uh, I'd assume that Mill Shoe would do the same thing here with that type of kicking. Lamisa unable to really do anything on offense. They kind of get upfield just a little bit, but the moment that they kind of go negative yardage, there's really no positive yardage after that with the Mule Shoot defense bending and not breaking 
whatsoever. And that's what they did last game, except for one little mistake down inside the 10, which gave the Roughnecks a touchdown last week. But Milshu looked to kind of put some WD-40 on the rust there and kind of tightened up and tuned up anything that needed to. And this team looks very, very, very good and productive on both sides of the ball. So Zach Hasley here to kick it off, and number four, Josiah Zapata here to return it. Oh, good hit. You could hear that from up here. That was number 13, Max Rodriguez, who took it. So La Misa here, it's their second possession of the game here. And it was a possession from a long time ago. It seems like Milshu offense has had the win on the time of possession so far in this game. But with both teams here running, especially with how run heavy La Misa is right now, I mean, that could change very quick, too. So Marquez here putting a man in motion. It's going to be handoff. Oh, look at him go. Oh, it was almost a good sack there. That was number 51, Mar uh, Mario Gordardo <laughs> getting in there. Wow. He almost took the running back and Marquez down. Second and about six here for the Golden Tours. The clock now under 11 minutes here in the second quarter. Mills lead 14-0. Milshu coming in, stacking up the box here, now backing out. Box is still kind of stacked. And here it comes, going outside here. It's going to be number 11 taking up the middle. Coming from the outside, going up the middle. I'm sorry, that is Luke Martinez for the Golden Tour first down here. And Lamisa is going to take a timeout here. And uh, both teams are going to get some water here. And while they get some water, so will I. Today's game is going to be brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Milshu Animal Clinic, Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshu Housing Authority, Aim Bake, Milshu ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipments Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, &K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshu Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, McCormick Seed. Make sure that you see all of our sponsor ads on our front page of our website, MilshuTV.com, or our Facebook page, pages, Gil Lamb, or Channel 6 Milshu. If you are on the stream, make sure that you subscribe. You can see all the games that we'll post this season. We'll be live for the games this season for the most part. Um, here at the home games, we'll be using our full equipment, so we'll be giving to you a very great experience at the comfort of your home. First and 10 for La Misa. So jump here, false start going back as La Misa. But once again, just follow us on our Facebook pages or find us on YouTube where we'll be streaming live or channel or MilshuTV.com. So a jump there on the line for La Misa brings him back five yards. First and 15, try it again. Let's see if Milshu yeah, stop here now with the negative yardage start here. It's going to be first and 15 for the Golden Tour. Or not, yeah, first and 15 for the Golden Tours. As Marquez is going to roll out here. And Brennan Davis breaking down his feet there. Good pursuit by Brennan Davis of the Mules there, getting down Josh Marquez. And I got to say, Josh Marquez, when he gets out of the pocket, he's very dangerous kid is really fast really quick feet and he's unable to get away from Brennan Davis there who broke down a couple of yards very good tackle form there very good on reading where Marquez was going brings up second down and about six here 
for the Golden Tours as they are into Milshu territory at the Milshu 49. So 24 here in motion, and that's going to be number four who's going to take it. He's going to go up the left side, and he slipped a bunch of tackles there that Josiah Zapata goes around the left side there. It will be first and ten for the Golden Tours. Just a reminder, it is a nice warm day today, really nice football weather. And I assume when the sun goes down, it's going to be nice and cool and as these kids are out here and number 33 trying to get off the field here and it's going to be a handoff here out and Matt Fabel is going to bring him down let's see if I can get a number on the golden tour here it's number four Zapata again so Josiah Zapata on two carries back to back there was able to get some positive yardage for the tours brings up second down and about six here for the tours you gain a four there nine minutes here left in the second quarter 14 to zero in favor of your meals let's see what Lamisa does here so they're gonna bring 24 around and it's gonna be a handoff here again So third down and one, bend and no break defense. Let's see if they could get it done here. This mill shoe has been here before, third down and short, and they've gotten a stop. And let's see if they could do it again. 8.30 left here in the second quarter, 14 to zero is your score. And here comes Lamisa. Marquez coming out here comes the man in motion and he's gonna be man in the backfield no gain fourth and one here so it looks like Jeremiah Baron getting back there good fourth and one and it looks like maybe Alex Regalado got in there too to help plug up that hole but Good pursuit from the backside from Jeremiah Baron there. So crowd getting into it now. Fourth and one defense. Defense chants are happening here. The stands are shaking here. Marquez at quarterback. Bring a man in motion here. He's going to be taking up the middle. First down, Golden Tours, and a little bit more. Set run up the middle by Zapata again. Zapata, uh, Josiah Zapata, number four for the Golden Tours, has been the positive yardage producer so far for the Tours here. Josh Marquez at quarterback still here. Taking 24 in motion. It's going to be a handoff to Zapata again. Here he goes. Five inside the five. Not knocked out of bounds. They're saying run the clock. He is at the four-yard line. First and goal for the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes. So first and goal here. Bolton on that run. So Uriel Vasquez forced him out of bounds, saving touchdown tackle here. Let's see what Milshu does here. He's going to be a keeper by number six, Marquez here. He's going to be met in the backfield. Second down and a loss of yards. Second down and five here for the Mules. Sub out number 80 coming in for the Mills. That's Victor Valasquez. He's the senior coming in on the line there. So bringing in some more big boys here up front. Stacking the boxes, the Mills. Lamisa handing it off. He goes nowhere. Good job by the offensive line. Josiah Zapata on the carry had nowhere to go there. And it looks like 63. That's Eric Vasquez getting in there 
Loss of one, third down and six. So just inside the goal line, Lamise is gone. Negative one, negative one brings up third down and six, or third down and goal at the six. My apologies. 5.30 here left in the second quarter. 14 to zero is your score. Milshu leading. I'd, 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 I'd assume a pass right here. Let's see what happens. It's going to be Marquez, and it's going to be a pass, and he's going to be man in the backfield. Wow, number 13, Jeremiah Barone. Again, touchdown saving tackle. Good awareness by him. And kids, a utility player, man, going in at wide receiver, doing great there, coming in, doing running back stuff, and then going out there in the middle linebacker position, able to switch sides, go through, and has saved a touchdown. They're really, he saved two touchdowns on this drive from happening. Be fourth down here and goal for the Golden Tours. And once again, Lamisa kicked it off. So if Milshu gets a stop here and scores, Milshu will come out at the half and receive the ball, which will be big trouble for Lamisa. And they are going to take a timeout here. Lamisa Golden Tours will take a timeout. So 5 11 here in the second quarter, 14 Milshu. Lamisa going towards zero with Lamisa knocking on the door just to give a recap on, or not a recap, just to kind of give a reminder. Milshu High School Senior Class will be doing a pregame dinner next week, September 11th. We are hosting Freeona 5 o'clock at the Milshu High School Cafeteria. Just $8, dine in and carry out only. We're going to do Fiesta Palon with all the fixings. That sounds very delicious. Dessert and tea. See any senior student or class sponsor to buy your tickets in advance, or you can pay at the door, whichever you want to do. Lamisa coming out, and this is a do or die situation kind of for this half because Milshu will receive the ball here in the start of the second half, 14 to zero in favor of the Mules. Crowd is getting really into it here. Let's see what happens here. Lamisa needing to go four yards here. Fourth and goal. It's going to be a pitch out to number 11. And I don't think he's going to get there. He touched the pylon there. The pylon signals the touchdown. Luke Martinez, touchdown, Golden Tours. 14 to six is your score with 5.02 left here in the second quarter. Luke Martinez just giving that great second effort there for the Golden Tours to give him a score, which will cut the lead in half here for meals, for the meals. And Golden Tours coming out with their own two point conversion here. Formation, bringing a guy in motion. It's gonna be a keeper by number six and he will go nowhere. No good. Keeps the score 6 to 14. So cutting in half, not necessarily, but it puts him a possession closer. Lamisa will go and get a touchdown. Mule shoot up by possession 14 to 6 with 502 left here in the second quarter. So just a little bit of a recap there. Lamisa taking the ball, going in. A really, really good running there by Josiah Zapata on Lamisa's side there going up getting some positive yardage for them Mill shoots defense showing and in all honesty bending and not breaking as they almost stopped a touchdown there and it was just really good second effort by Luke Martinez there coming around on the toss and being able to get in there for the Lamisa Golden Tour touchdown and once again it's a hot day and the defense has been out there on that series for a very long time. Like I said, Lamisa runs that ball and they also run the clock very well. So 14 to six in the second quarter with 502 left in favor of your meals. We get ready to receive the kickoff here. I see kicking, it's going to be number 71. That's going to be Alexander Robinson for the Lamisa Golden Tours. 
it looks like number 11, the sun is going on the jersey a little bit. Number 11, Irvin Torres is back there to receive for the Mills. And once again, Irvin Torres is dangerous. So I'd let it go back to him. So Irvin Torres is going to take it, and he's a fast kid. Look at him go. Irvin Torres with open real estate in front of him. Look at him go. From the back up to the Milshoe 46-yard line, Irvin Torres goes. And like I said, you get that kid a little bit open real estate, he'll build a house with it. First and 10 for the Mills here. 449 left in the second quarter. Remember, Mills kicked it off to start the game. So we will be receiving the ball to start the second half. So if Milshoe can get down and score and burn enough time off the clock, they could possibly, in the third quarter, go up even more, getting a little bit of insurance there and padding on the score. Zach Hasley, a quarterback, puts Joey Martinez in motion. It's going to be out to Jeremiah Barone, number 21, who goes by a couple of people here, slips by some tackles. It's going to be a yard short of the first down here. Second down and one here into La Mesa going toward Tornado Territory. The Milshu Mills go here as they are at the La Mesa 45-yard line. Be second down and one here, 420 left here in the second quarter. Zach Hasley draws the offsides here, or what look like to draw the offsides, but they're going to say everybody got back in time here, bring up third down and one here for the Mules. That'll stop the clock at 411. A little confusion here by the offense. It looks like they got fixed here. A little handoff here to Joey Martinez going up the right side. He's dancing first down plus more. Look at him go on the outside. He's going to be stopped by number 12, Cam Diaz of La Mesa. So Joey Martinez gets the first down for the Mills. Not a whole lot. He had some open space, but Cam Diaz comes on the backside, slips away from his block, was able to stop any damage by Joey Martinez. First and 10 for the Mules here is we are in La Mesa territory at their at the La Mesa 42 yard line. Got trips down low. Oh, high snap here and Zach Hasley's going to keep it. He's going to get it out here, decide to get rid of the ball. It's a good idea there and 10 receiver Irvin Torres 326 left in the second quarter 14-6 is your score in favor of the Mules if you're just joining us Mule shoot is up 14-6 we kicked it off we will be getting the ball for the second half so Mule shoot looking to get some score some points here and then getting the ball again in the second half and hopefully gain some more points here giving some cushion to the lead Zach Hasley's going to take He's going to take it out to Irvin Torres. Irvin Torres going up the left side here. There goes Irvin Torres. Open real estate. Building a house. He goes. Look at him. Inside the 10, Irvin Torres goes. First and goal. Mules at the La Mesa Golden Tour. Eight. Forced out bounds. Stop the clock at 316 here in the second quarter. So first and goal here for the Mules. We got the beautiful sunset, West Texas sunset here in the background. It's going to be handed off here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see who that is. There's going to be a flag on the play. And that's number 13, Jeremiah Baron. Having nowhere to go. Two Golden Tours getting in there and able to make the stop. So face mask on the tours, half distance to the goal. Five will take us to the five yard line. Reset of downs here. So positive yardage anyways will be given to the meals here. So be first and goal at the five, 308, 308 here left in the second quarter. So 
So handoff here. And it's going to be Joey Martinez going at the left side. And look at that offensive line push him. Touchdown, Mills. Look at the big boys come in to help out the running back. 20 to 6 is your score. 253 left here in the second quarter. Second effort by the whole team there to help their running back get across the line. Joey Martinez with a, another touchdown here for the Mules. And here comes the Mules in that spe special formation that they do for their two-point here. It's going to be Irvin Torres. He's going to pass it out to Matt Fabela, who's going to take it up the middle here. Two-point conversion, good. 22 to 6 is your score. 253 left here in the second quarter. So, recap here. Milshu goes the yardage. Irvin Torres starting it off on the kickoff, taking it from about the 10, going up to about the 45. Then from there, Man, we're going to need new tires on our Jeep after we're all said and done here today as many drives as we have gone on so far. Get the old change done as the Milshu offense has done terrific on making something happen on third down. Getting down inside the 10. Personal foul face mask takes the Mills inside the 5. Then touchdown by Joey Martinez, but not without the help of really the big guys up front coming in and pushing him in as it was a little bit of a tug of war there well, really not tug of war just push a war and seeing who can push the hardest and Milshu was able to get in which brings the score 22 to 6 in favor of your meals in the second quarter with 253 left here once again Milshu did kick off at the first of the game so they'll be getting the ball for the second half as uh, Milshu We'll need to get a stop here to keep this really good lead here. So Pedro Barrios is back to receive. And Josiah Zapata, number four, both very dangerous kids. Kicking it's going to be Zach Hasley here, who has an onside, a successful onside kick here. And that's going to go... That's going to be Milshu's ball again. Milshu's ball. Look at them go. The little pooch kick there lands in between the two Lamisa Golden Tours, and only one of them tries to go get it. Milshu's ball here, 250 left here in the second quarter. So best defense I guess is not to give the other team a chance at offense so first and ten for the meals here as, uh, as the sun is saying it is starting to cool down a little bit here Zach Hasley at quarterback and here goes Joey Martinez up the left side here and he's going to take it find a seam and there he goes So nine yard carry there by Joey Martinez and man has he been productive today. Second down and one here for the Mules. So let's see what they do here. 216 left here in the second quarter. So now we are actually approaching the two minute mark here nine seconds left in the play clock here they need to get something going five four and it's going to be a little pass out to Mafabela. screen pass here Mafabela goes first down mules inside the 15 they'll mark him at the 15 so mule shoot first down they're going left right up down in the air on the ground Lamisa does not have an answer for the Mills offense right now. And I'd imagine that they are very tired the amount of time that they've been on the field. Especially how hot it's been today. So here we go. Oh no, it was a bad handoff here. And that's going to be a big boy, number 50, taking it 
almost to the house. That's Noah Vera. So turnover here for Milshoe. It looked like a mix up on the handoff here. And it looked like a kind of a high snap there and a little bit of confusion in that backfield. And you got to shake that off. Defense will come out and see if they can get a stop here. So Lamisa was supposed to get the ball there on the kick. Milshu picks it up, takes it down, and then turns it over. And it looks like Lamisa is where they're supposed to be with one twenty-three left here in the second quarter. 22 to 6 in favor of your Mills. First and 10 for Lamisa in Milshu territory here after that turnover. And number 50, Noah Vera taking it that far. So here comes pressure on number six. Interception by the Mills. So turnover, turnover. Mills get it back, but they're at their own five yard line to start off. And man, if we drive the field here, we're going to need an oil change on our Jeep. So first and 10 here as uh, Josh Marquez was under pressure. The mill was coming on the backside, and he got the ball off just in time, but it was a little short. His receiver wasn't turned around, but the meal shoe defender was be first and 10 for the meals here with us needing to go about 94 yards on the field in a minute 15. So let's see if we could do it here. I'd assume a big deep pass here. So that's over the head of number three, Eli Macias. And once again, the Milshu wide receivers are very dangerous between Eli Macias and Irvin Torres, Jeremiah Barone, LSR Cincinnatos out there too. Very, very fast kids. And like I said, if they get any open real estate, especially like Irvin Torres, he'll be able to do something with it. That's going to be Joey Martinez taking it up there. So we are now going to approach the one-minute mark here in the second quarter. So third down and seven here for the Mules. They're looking off to the side, burning some clock here. Ten seconds on the play clock. Thirty seconds on the game clock. Twenty-two to six is your score. Milshu will be getting the ball here, and it looks like Milshu is going to take a timeout. So make sure that y'all stick around for halftime as we will be showing the bands playing. As we'll be doing that live and also remember to like and subscribe the video and subscribe to the channel here if you're watching the live stream you can find us on MealshoeTV.com or our Facebook pages Gil Lamb or Channel 6 Mealshoe or search Channel 6 Mealshoe Gil Lamb advertising on face on YouTube uh, excuse me and there you can find us also we'll be streaming on three different platforms for your convenience for you to enjoy the game at the comfort of your home as we are aware of COVID and and are streaming the games this year we upgraded our equipment here to be able to do this for y'all's convenience so third down here for the mules so let's see what happens here. They're going to need to get the ball off. Lamisa does have a timeout left. It's going to be a pass out to Brendan Davis, who's going to get the first down here. So Zach Hasley up the middle to Brendan Davis. First down, Mules. 19 seconds left in the second quarter. It's going to be another touchdown. So Eli Macias has a touchdown. Joey Martinez has two. Zach Hasley's pass to Eli Macias was the success on that touchdown. Irvin Torres 
having a two point conversion and then Matt Babela having a two point conversion too. Offense has been very, very, very productive today. Defense has been bend and not break. And honestly, that touchdown that Lamisa had, Mulshu almost stopped it. It was just a game of inches there on the edge. If I remember, I think it's Josiah Zapata who took the end round there, went up the right side and just barely got inside the pile line. And like I said, it's just, I mean, it is a game of inches. 22 to 6 is your score. 19 seconds left here in the second quarter. Milshu kicked off and will receive for the second half. So here we go, first and 10 for the meals here. Moving three wide receivers at the top of your screen. And Joey Martinez has some open real estate in front of him and he's gonna take off. Go Joey Martinez, go! Look at him go, Joey Martinez! Put on the Jets, keep going! Touchdown Mills! Three seconds left in the second quarter. Joey Martinez taking it to the house, had some great blocks in front of him and then put it in the high gear and took it down to the house. 28 to six is your score in the second quarter. Three seconds left here. And I'd assume we'd go for two. Mark it up, number three for Joey Martinez there. Let's see what happens here. And looks like they're gonna go for the extra point instead. Try to avoid anything. And it looks like Milshu's gonna take a timeout here. So it'll be Milshu's third and final timeout here. Scores will be 28 to 6 in favor of your meals. Joy Martinez taking it to the house. There's third touchdown of the night. And like I said, you know, this team is full of athletes. All the kids, really good athletic wise. Big senior team. Great on the offensive line there. You got three offensive linemen on that play that came out and just went upfield did their job, really good blocks, and allowed Joey Martinez to get up there for the Mule Shoe Mule touchdown. Brings the score 28 to six here in the second quarter, three seconds left. Number 64, Alex Regalado to attempt the extra point here. Kick is gonna be up, it looks good. Misses first one, gets this one, Alex Regalado. 29-6 is your score now with three seconds left here in the second quarter. So Milshun, I mean, I'd say they went for a drive. It was more like kind of like a cup a drive and then a race, race to the finish there. Is uh one point it was third down here and a little pass up to Brandon Davis brought the first down and then next thing you know we Joey Martinez is going yard for a touchdown so I'd, I'd have to assume that Mielshu will find a way to keep this ball from going deep again and Lamisa adjusting here bringing bringing up another rope uh, players here Scooting them up a little bit closer here. So Keaton Fulton and Josiah Zapata back to receive for the tours. Zach Hasley just going to kick it here, and he's just going to pooch in the air. That's in and out of the hands, and golly, I don't know whose ball that is. And that's going to be the end of the half. 
Make sure that you stick around for halftime to watch the Mighty M Band and the La Mesa Golden Tour Band and also see our ads. We'll be back for your second half of Mill Shoe Mill Football. 29 to 6 is your score in favor of your Mill Shoe Mills. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills, and you're watching us on, we are streaming live on Mill Shoe TV, Gil Lamb, or Channel 6 Mill Shoe on our Facebook and also on YouTube. Thank y'all, and we will see y'all at the second half, half of football. David Woodfield at Benny Douglas Stadium between the Mule Shoe Mules and the La Mesa Golden Tornadoes. The live stream broadcast brought to you here on Gillam Advertising, MuleshoeTV.com, at Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Mule Shoe Housing Authority, Ain Bank, the Mule Shoe Independent School District, Bywise Home and Auto, Hereford Feed Ingredients, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shivens Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's Restaurant, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, K&K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, the Mule Shoe Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, and McCormick Seeds Incorporated. We'll have the live performance from the Mighty M Marching Band coming up here in just a few moments, along with some of the performance from the La Mesa Band as well. Stay tuned. The Muleshoe High School Acceleration and Collegiate Academy was created to assist the college-bound student with ACT, SAT, and TSI preparation and dual credit enrollment. This year, a few freshmen will be attending the academy to prepare for dual credit classes in the fall and will begin taking dual credit classes in the spring. These students will have an opportunity to earn an associate's degree from South Plains College before graduating from Muleshoe High School. All right, our vision statement for the academy is removing obstacles and promoting individual achievement in order to positively impact current and future generations. Basically what we want to do is we want to set a foundation for even our freshmen on up to get college credits now and in the future we should have some graduates that will graduate from college with an associates before they ever cross the stage as a high school graduate. Hi, I'm Nathan Ferguson. I chose to be in the academy because I would like to get my dual credits out early, as well as save me money in the long run. Uh, the dual credit classes I'm taking this year are psychology, history, and second semester it will also be art appreciation. Hi, I'm Michaela Hasloff. I'm a sophomore in the academy, and I like the academy because it gives me time to practice ACT and SAT scores to better them so that I have more scholarship opportunities in the future. My name is Caitlin Kelly and I'm a senior in the academy. I'm in the academy because this place helps me stay on top of all of my college classes. This year I'm in public speaking, fitness and wellness, and ag economics. My name is Brenna Butler. I'm a student and a freshman at the academy and I want to be a part of the academy because it gives me an opportunity um, to prepare for college and it helps me understand what college will be like in the future. Hello, my name is Avery Hasloff. I'm a sophomore at Milshu High School, and I'm enrolled in the academy to prepare myself for college by taking dual credit classes and preparing for the ACT, SAT, and TSI. The mission of the academy here at Muleshoe High School is to meet individual needs by providing challenging and innovative academic opportunities. We love that in the academy, students get their individual needs net, met by um, working on the coursework for their college future. We know every kid's future looks different, and we're excited to prepare each of them for what they need. We believe in our academy students and the successful futures that await them. We believe it is important for them to be responsible learners who truly value a strong education and who are ready to work hard through any challenges they may face. The Academy is here to support these students in their endeavors. The Academy will offer Muleshoe High School students a unique opportunity to prepare for their future. Muleshoe ISD is building the future one student at a time.
Cox, 401 South First Street in Muleshoe, Texas, supporting the Mules and Lady Mules. Get your Muleshoe Mule flags here now. All proceeds benefit the Muleshoe Athletic Booster Club. The manager's special for September is the Bypass Lopper and Pruner Set, regularly $24.99, now slash to $9.97 while supplies last. Kids' masks are just in, and also a new selection of reasonably priced in 95 mass get a box of 20 now at frying cox another manager special for september is the 32 gallon rectangle wheeled trash can marked down to 14.99 frying cox also has just replenished their stock of antibacterial hand wash and soap hand sanitizer and lots to choose from disinfectant sanitizers as well. A second special of the month for September is get two for six mix or match the 9.8 ounce clear silicone sealant and 12 ounce foam sealant all available now at Frying Cox 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas. They're open Monday through Saturdays 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. In life, some things just go together like a burger and fries and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Mark Morton today.
Marina Coronado, and William DeForest. Special thanks to our wonderful band booster organization, parents, and our school administration. Please welcome the pride of Mule Shoe, the mighty M Band. Directed by Rudy Shoe, Jessica Miner. The mighty M Band is sponsored by Bunky, Texas Farm Bureau, and Bailey County Electric. They will perform Sweet Caroline by Mike Story, followed by Morning Has Broken, arranged by Robert Sheldon. The soloist Garrett Sims on baritone saxophone. Telephone duet, Kristen Pope and Brenna Butler. They will conclude with the Mule Shoe Fight Song. Drum majors are Arizbel, Avales, Lily Castro, and Mark Espinosa. Flag four captains, Priscilla Medina. Dayanera Landeros, the custom captain is Ariel. Gordia.
give one more round of applause for the mighty Ian Band. Section of the week is the Clarendon section. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and get on your feet. Touchdowns by Eli Macias. Zach Hasley has one. Irvin or uh, Joey Martinez has three. One of them going to the house. As uh, this is going to go into the hands of number twelve here or number nineteen. I'm sorry, it's Uriel Vasquez. And I like to say, if a uh, little bit of delay there on the switch over, welcome back. You're watching. Your Mill Shoe Mills. This is the second half of Mill Shoe Mill football. A 29 to 6 is your score in favor of the Mills. With the Mills receiving the ball here for the second half, they kicked it in the first. As uh, Mill Shoe has been very productive on offense, a pass from Zach Hasley to Eon Masias for the first touchdown. This has been Joy Martinez with three. After that, Matt Fabela and Irvin Torres both have two point conversions. First and 10 here for the Mills. And it's going to be a pass out to number 13. He's going to go take it up the right side here. Put his hand down. Good job, Jeremiah Baron, on the catch there and second effort on getting some positive yards. Be second down and six for the Mules. So second down and six here. Jeremiah Barone to the left of Zach Hasley here. And it's going to be a quick pass out to number 11, Evan Torres, in and out of his hands. You won't see that too often for him. It looks like he's just kind of thrown off there. We'll bring up third down and six here for the Mules. So they're up 29 to six. Looking to get some cushion on this. Uh, at halftime, I had to get an old change on the car they're driving. They've been on so many drives on that first half. Been a very dangerous, potent offense. Got Eli Macias and Germ and uh, Irvin Torres down low. Up top, you have number eight, Brennan Davis. I want to say that's Christian Morales up there. I, I'd say that's neutral zone infraction. Let's see what they say here. Because he made contact with the offensive lineman there. As they discuss it, once again, welcome back. 29 to 6 is your score here for the meals with people returning back from halftime. If you say during halftime, the bands did great. Both bands on both sides did very great. The Mighty M Band and the Lamisa Golden Tour Band did terrific. Shout out to both of those bands and those kids. And it's going to be so Lamisa neutral neutral zone infraction there brings a third down and one here. 
And honestly, this close with Jeremiah Brown and his speed, I could see him running up the middle here. And it looks like they're going to run three receivers up high. That other receivers, LSR Cincinnatos up there at the top. Irvin Torres, then Brennan Davis down low. It's going to be Eli Macias. It's going to be a handoff here to number 13. And they forgot number 45, Richard Dimness on the outside there. Fourth down and five here for the Mules. La Misa getting a stop on defense that is not a turnover. So going for it here. It's going to be a neutral zone infraction again here on La Mesa. Bring up fourth and one. 10.39 left here in the second quarter. 29 to six is your score. And I had to assume this is a neutral zone infraction. I don't see why discuss it any further here. So they're going to call a false start here on the mules. So it's going to take it back about five yards here. Bring fourth down. And 10, and here comes the personnel change for the punt team for the Mills. Zach Hasley will punt it off here for your Mills. And I'd want to say it's number seven, Pedro Barrios, back to receive for La Misa here. Good punt here. So that's going to go right in, right over. He had to back up a little bit there, and he's going to only get maybe a couple yards there. Great punt by Zach Hasley. Uh, Pedro Barrios there had to back up for a second and take it and really didn't get anywhere after that. Good, good pursuit by the Mules, and it will be a first and 10 for La Misa. Lamisa down by several possessions here. 29 to 6 is the score with 10.29 left here in the third quarter. The sun is down, and honestly, if you could see, it's a beautiful West Texas sunset here. Nice colors, and got to love this side. The flat land of Texas, being able to see that. So it has cooled down a lot now since the sun has settled down. And here he goes. It's going to be Josh Marquez sending number 11 in motion. It's going to be a handoff here. And there he goes. That's going to be number four Zapata again. And we've called his name a lot in the first half for Lamisa. He's been the guy to bring up positive yardage. And and it looks like there's going to be injury time out there. And, uh, while we take the injury time out here, we're going to read off our sponsors. And this game is sponsored by Bear Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leo's Tortilla Factory, Millshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Millshoe Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Millshoe ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, K&K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshu Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, and McCormick Seed. Make sure you see all of our ads on MilshuTV.com. Be on the front page of that website for you. And also on our Facebook pages, just search Milshu Channel 6 or Gil Lamb. And it's going to be some missed tackles there. Slamisa's might go here. It's going to be taken to Milshu territory. First down and more for Lamisa. That's going to be number 25, Tyrell Manuel. Man Manuel. First and down for Lamisa here, and uh, Lamisa taking it here, and they're going to hand it off to number twenty-five, Manuel again, Manuel again. So Zapata and Manuel doing the work for Lamisa here. Nine twenty left here in the third quarter. Twenty-nine six. Your score in Lamisa now. 
on a drive after some big plays, a couple bigger plays here. Play clock at 10 seconds. They're going to need to get to the line quick. Five seconds. They see they were not set. It's going to be a flag here. Play clock at one second at that snap. So that's going to back them up just a little bit here. And it looks like there's going to be a injury on the field here. 8.53 left in the third quarter. 29-6 is your score. And once again, just kind of going over the stats here. Eli Macias, really, really good duo there. Eli Macias gained some really good passes out today. And uh, Joy Martinez doing the rest of the work, taking it, taking three touchdowns, one of them going really big to the house. Um, Matt Fabela, Irvin Torres is going in, getting your two-point conversions. And then um, Alex Regalado going in, and he is one for two on extra points today. One of them coming from just a bad snap and just a block by the Lamisa going towards the other one coming just before halftime. So second down here for the Golden Tours. And that's going to be a tackle for loss here. And that's going to be a herd of mules. That's going to be a big loss. And Josh Marquez couldn't get the handoff quick enough before. I mean, I, I can't tell who got in there for the mules. It was just a lot of them. And I think it was Brennan Davis who led that pack there. Third down and very long for Lamisa here. So we are now approaching the eight-minute mark here in the third quarter. 29-6 to six is your score. So let's see who they send in motion this time. It's going to be number 11 who they send in motion here. And it's going to pitch out to him. Number 11 is going to go out the right side. It's going to be Luke Martinez. So good option play there by Lamisa. Puts him in fourth down and kind of manageable instead of fourth down and long. So fourth down manageable here by Lamisa. Let me see. Fourth down and eight. Need to get up to the Milshu 29. They're currently at the Milshu 37. So let's see what they do here. So here it is. They're going to try to get around him here. They're going to get him down. There'll be a turnover on downs here. Let's see. There's no flags. No flags there. So good job on the Milshu defense. Bending, not breaking. Turnover on downs. And the Milshu offense will come out. The very high potent offenses came out. They came out uh, halftime here, got the ball, went up field a little bit, and kind of stalled out. But first drive jitters back from halftime. Let's see if they can get the ball rolling again. Seven to one left here in the third quarter. Twenty-nine to six is your score in favor of your Milshu Mills. So Zach Hasley at quarterback still got three wide receivers on the short side of the field here. A lot of real estate out there on the right side. And here comes number 45 again. You're missed a block there. That's uh, Richard Dimas again getting in there for Lamisa. I think that's his third time getting in there in this second half. Six thirty left here in the third quarter. Zach Hasley at quarterback. Second down and twelve here. A little bit of delay here. Good block here. Oh, I had to get the ball off. 
Zach Hasley had nowhere to go here. So third down and 10 here. He gets a little bit extra yardage going out of bounds here. And their mind's going to be third down and 11. They're going to say third down and 11. The Mills looking to get a first down. They need to get up to the to their own 42. They have an edge rusher there on both sides here. And that's going to be a false start. It's going to be a false start down there. It looks like it was movement on the line down low the bottom of your screen bring a third down and very long third down 16 is going to be what it is now here comes that edge rush again flushing him out the pocket and Zach Hasley getting out of the way of danger getting the ball away here brings up fourth down and long So Richard Dimmis once again doing the job out there on the left edge, just coming up and hitting you in the mouth is what he's doing. He's out there on the bottom of your screen, and he's disrupted a lot of plays so far in this half, which has helped the La Mesa going tornadoes here. It's going to be a sky punt here. So it's going to go in. It's going to take a nice little mill shoot bounce. Hey, That was almost a costly mistake by Pedro Barrios there. He went up to get it and then lost it. But La Misa came up with it. It'll be first and 10 for La Misa here. 5.50 left in the third quarter. Milshu still up 29 to 6. The defense, again, bend and not breaking, giving up a couple plays here and there, but coming up big when it needs to happen. Defensive line really good. Brendan Davis being able to get in there and get some stuff done. The big boys up front on the defensive line being able to do their job, shed tackles, and being able to get in the backfield. But Lamisa coming in and running the option in the run and, and the play action pass. It's a lot to read really quick for the defense. And Milshu has been doing a really good job with that. And here comes Lamisa offense here. It's going to be Josh Marquez at quarterback still. I'm going to put Luke Martinez here in motion and that's going to be Josh Marquez who keeps it himself. And there's going to be a face mask on the meals is what that looks like. I'll give Lamisa some positive yardage there. It'll be a re or a first down. Would push Lamisa into Milshu territory here. So it'd be first and ten. So Josh Marquez not in here. They got the looks like the third string quarterback here. And it's going to be number twenty, and that's going to be a tackle there. It's going to be hand off to number twenty five. I thought he was tackled in the backfield, but it looks like Terrell Manuel running up the middle there took and was able to get some positive yardage. Number 51, Mario, Mario Gordardo came in and he just manhandled the quarterback there. And it's going to be another handoff here. And boom, big hit. Who is that? That's number 14, Davian McCullen. Show off some muscles there, kid. Wow, what a hit by Davian McCullen. 
Brings up third down and one here for the Lamisa Golden Tours. Four minutes left here in the third quarter. 29 to six is your score. And it's going to be a pass up the middle. And that's going to be intercepted. That's going to be number three, Eli Macias, going up the edge. Forced out of bounds. Flags on the play. Eli Macias came up and just tapped the Y button there on his Xbox. Took it away out of the air. Called a Skyhawk. There's three flags out there, so let's see what happens. It should be Milshu's ball, but as I'd assume these penalties are going to be on us. Good job, Eli Macias, there on the read and just picking that off. So be first and 10 for the Mills, and it's going to be placed at the Millshoe 34-yard line here. 358 left here in the third quarter. 29 to 6 is your score. That play got me out of my chair there for a second there. I thought he was fixing to take it to the house. Zach Hasley, at quarterback, he's going to take it. Here comes 45 again, and it's going to be number 13. He's going to take it up the left side there. It's going to be forced out of bounds. Good job, Jeremiah Baron. Kids fast got up the edge there real quick. That was almost dangerous because Richard Dennis once again coming off the edge there. That kid is fast. So, once again... Like I was saying, Richard Dim is coming off the edge there. Really fast kid. There's going to be a penalty on Lamisa here. Unnecessary roughness there. Personal foul. Taking it up deeper into Lamisa territory. Milshu first down. First and 10 at the Lamisa 37 yard line. Kind of flipped the field here. Went from the 37 one way to the 37 on the other side here. Or 34 to 37, sorry. First and 10 here. Lamisa stacking the box here. It's going to be a run up the middle here by number 18. And I actually, I think that's number 18. I don't have a number 18 on my roster. I will be working on getting number 18 on my roster. So here we go. Hasley rolling out. Urban Torres gets it, cuts it up. Really good feet there. It's going to be inches short here. Be third down, and they're going to say third and one here for the Mule Shoe Mules. 306 left here in the third quarter. 29 to 6 is your score. Third down and one. Let's see what they do here. And once again, I actually do not have a name for number 18. going to be handed off here. Number 18 is going to go up the middle. That's enough for a first down in my books. First down, Mills. Under three minutes here in the third quarter we go. 29 to 6 your score. Two receivers to left and right. Top bottom of your screen here. Zach Hasley giving direction to his players, and he is going to pass it, and I do the same exact thing. Over the head, touchdown, Mills! 
Number 13, Jeremiah Baron. I told you I'd call his name tonight for a touchdown. 229 left here in the third quarter. 35 to 6 is your score in favor of your Milshoe Mills. That's just over the head, just barely over the head of the uh, La Mesa defender there. But Jeremiah Barone jumping up there in the air. Very athletic kid getting up there, getting it. Touchdown is what he gave us. Irvin Torres out there. He's going to take the snap. He's going to pass it to Matt Fabela. And, oh, missed blocks there. And Matt Fabela was met by a lot of La Mesa Golden Tours there. So Milshu intercepting the ball, takes it up the right side here, called back on the penalty. And then a couple run plays, a good pass play or two, and then the final pass play, the connection from Zach Hasley, his second passing touchdown tonight to Jermai Baron. Gives us a score 35 to 6 with the failed two-point conversion there with 229 left here in the third quarter. Adding cushion to this uh, lead is what the Mules are doing, and I hope that we continue to do that, kind of keep some separation there as Milchu's looking for his first win of the season. Currently 0-1. Lamisa also 0-1 coming into this game. And if we remember right, you know, Zach Hasley does have a successful – Oh, he has two, we, two successful – kickoffs little pooch kicks that have been in favor of the mules so let's see what happens here as Lamisa looks to not be squished to one side of the field here so Zach Hasley lining up back to receive is going to be number 13 So Max Rodriguez taking the knee here. Lamisa will start at their own 39-yard line. They'll make it the 40. 229, not, 229 left here in the third quarter. 35 to 6 is your current score. Just a reminder, Milshu High School senior class will be doing a pregame dinner next week. We will be hosting Friona on the 11th of September, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Milshu High School Cafeteria. We're doing Fiesta Paolan with all the fixings, dessert and tea. Dining carryout only. It's $8. So first and 10 for Lamisa here. We're going to put Luke in motion here. It's going to be a handoff, kind of a delayed handoff to number 24, not before he's met. Let me see who got him. That's going to be number eight, Brennan Davis. Kind of a finish here on this ad that they have. If you see any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance or pay at the door that day. And that sounds really good for next week. Some Mexican or Fiesta pile on with the dessert, all the fixings. I might get me a plate or two. So second down and nine here for the Lamisa Golden Tours. It's going to be a handoff here. It's botch. Balls out. Milshu's ball. It was a miss handoff there. Milshu jumping on it. 139 left here in the third quarter. Milshu is going to take the ball. Offense will come out here. So Milshu, very productive on offense, also productive on defense. That'll be, I think, their third turnover of the night here. So Zach Hasley coming out. I still don't have a name for number 18. This so would be running the clock here. Irvin Torres taking it open real estate. Look at him go. Whoop! There he goes into the twenty-yard line. 
Urban Torres inside the 20. Milshoe first down. God, kid is dangerous when he gets out in open field. And he's proved it right there. So first and 10 at the 19-yard line for Milshoe here. Zach Hasley, a quarterback. Number three is going to take it. It's Eli Macias. He's going to break a tackle here. So five yard. Just kind of chip away here at the field is what the Mules have done this game. So second down and five here as Mule shoots just inside the 15 yard line. So Milshu this game has done a really good job on offense on really just kind of finding the seams and finding open people, but also the running backs going through and good blocking up front, helping out the running backs. The second effort on the touchdown that Joey Martinez had earlier in the game with the linemen coming in and being able to go in and help Joey Martinez out there. After that run, he'll bring up third down. That's number 18 who danced around there a little bit. I think he might have gotten a yard on that play. Third down and four is what we're looking at. Uh, third quarter is going to close out here. 4-3-2-1. to 6 is your score. And just so you are aware, this game is brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Liao's Tortilla Factory, Milshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshoe Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Milshoe ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, &K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshoe Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, McCormick Seed. Make sure you see all of our sponsor ads on the front page of our website, MillshoeTV.com, or on our Facebook pages, Gil Lamb or Channel 6 Millshoe. We are also streaming on all of our platforms, so make sure that you uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, share um, the content that we have on there. We'll be streaming the games this year. We've really upgraded our systems to be able to stream to y'all, so you have to stay in the comfort of y'all's of homes during the COVID. We were also having the Milshu High School Senior Class pregame dinner, Fiesta Paolan, Friday, September 11th at 5 o'clock. $8 is the cost. Fiesta Paolan with all the fixings, dessert and tea. It's $8. So if you see any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance or pay at the door. So Zach Hasley going over to middle Harvey Dirt's touchdown, Mills! <laughs> That's Zach Hasley's third touchdown and Irvin Torres' first of the game. Perfect pass up the middle there by Zach Hasley. Irvin Torres just kind of zigzag, came up the middle, passed down the middle. I mean, he was wide open. Extra point attempt here. Kicks down, up, and it's good. Alex Regalado, two for three on the night. So 11.55 left here in the fourth quarter. 42 to six is your score in favor of Milshu. So Milshu picking up a fumble, goes in and, and Milshu's offense today has taken turnovers and have turned them into cash money on the scoreboard. 42 to 6 is your score. Defense bending and not breaking, for forcing the turnovers. As Milshu is looking for their first win of the 2020 season. It's their own one right now. Last week, losing to Sundown 0-6. Very big defensive game. If you haven't watched it, you can go back and watch it on our Facebook page or channel uh, MillshoeTV.com. 
or you can look on our YouTube. If you're watching on our YouTube right now, you can go over to our playlist and you can see the football games for this season. So Zach Hasley here to kick it off for the Mules. And I wonder if they're going to do the pooch kick again. It's either going to go to number one, Robert Martinez, or number 13, Max Rodriguez. And that's going to be caught by Max Rodriguez. And he had to come up and get that. And if he was a second later, that probably would have been really bad. So 11.55 left here in the fourth quarter, 42-6 to six your score. The Golden, golden Tours are going to come out. So Lamisa first and 10 here at the 40-yard line, or 39-yard line, excuse me. So it looks like they have number 20 there. That's Christian Ruiz at quarterback. And Christian Ruiz is going to be in trouble. That's going to be pass interference on number one, Matt Favela. Number 64, Alex Regalado got in there and forced Ruiz to get rid of that ball or he's going to be in danger. Pass interference here. And as these teams are subbing out players in and out, I will try to keep y'all updated here. So Ruiz at quarterback here will put 24 in motion. It's going to be a pitch out to number 24. It's going to go up the left side. He's going to break a couple tackles. Not before he's met. Looks like Brandon Davis gained the tackle, but number 24 for Lamisa is Keaton Bolton. Got some speed on the outside there. Brings up second down and five for the uh, Lamisa Golden Tours. I'm sorry, second down and four after that carry. Mark him a little bit closer. 11-20 left here in the fourth quarter. 42-6 to six in favor of your Milshu Mules. The play clock's now under 10 seconds. We need to get a playoff here. And it's going to be handed off here up the middle. That's going to be Keaton Bolton again who's going to take it. He's going to get a first down for Lamisa. It looks like ball came out. They're going to say he's down. So ball did come out. He did get hit pretty hard. It looks like there's going to be an injury on the field here for the Golden Tours. So, while that's going, we're going to read off our sponsors here. Once again, this game is brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, uh, Liao's Tortilla Factory, Milshu Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshu Housing Authority, AIM Bank, Milshu ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop, and Autoplex, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, &K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshu Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, McCormick Seed, Make sure that you see all of our sponsor ads at the front page of our website, MillshoeTV.com, or on our Facebook page, Gil Lamb or Channel 6 Millshoe. We are also streaming on the three platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and MillshoeTV.com. If you're on any of those, you can see the links to see the stream. We'll be doing this all season. Deep pass here. It's just going to be over the head of the... Lamisa Golden Tour, that's number two, uh, Robert Dimas. But once again, thank you all, all for coming in and watching the stream all around the U.S. It's been, it is a pleasure to be able to come to you all live and do these streams. Just make sure that you all subscribe and uh, we'll be doing this every week that we can.
when we're home we'll be able to run our full setup and uh, wherever inter the internet allows us to on these away games we'll be able to either take our whole our whole setup or we'll be streaming off of the phones that we have it's going to be a pitch out here to number 11 who's going to be tackled short here I don't want to say that he's down here. That's going to be uh, Luke Martinez who took it out there. The host of Mule's getting out there and making that stomp. And for a second there, that's dangerous at that point. You just want to get down. Ball could have gotten stripped out there. But luckily it didn't on La Mesa's side. It'll bring him third down and eight for La Mesa here. 10.07 left here. In the fourth quarter, 42 to 6 is your score in favor of the Milshoe Mules. So, number 20 is going to take it out. Ruiz is going to roll out there, and he needs to get off that pass. There's a dangerous short pass there as number two, um, uh, Judas Reyes. He was right there. Uh, bring up fourth down and eight here for the Golden Tours. So Ruiz at quarterback here, and he is going to keep it here. He's going to try to get rid of it over the middle. Caught. First down, La Mesa Golden Tours. That's going to be number 13, Max Rodriguez, on the catch there for the Golden Tours. Ruiz connecting to Rodriguez there, giving the La Mesa Golden Tours some life on the offense. First down, fourth down conversion for them. First and 10 for the Golden Tours with 9.30 left here in the fourth quarter. 42 to 6 your score in favor of your Milshoe Mills. So it's going to be a play action pass here going over the middle. Balls in the air, intercepted by Macias. Interception Mills. That's going to be Eli Macias. In and out of the hands of the Lamisa Golden Tour going into the hands of the uh, Mule Masias. Good job on Eli Masias there. First and 10 for the Mules with 9 12 left here in the fourth quarter. This is the student section here. All game has stood up, has been into it. Having fun is what the Mule Shoe student section is doing tonight. With Mills up 42 to 6 with 9-12 left here in the fourth quarter. So Hasley at quarterback. And here comes the Russ off the edge, and it gets tripped up. That's number seven taking it up the edge here. That's uh Joey Gutierrez, the senior. There is a flag on the play here. I think this might be on La Misa here. Be offsides. Penalty's gonna be declined. It'll be first down or second down here. Well it'll be marked off. So first and five here for the mules. 8.50 and rolling on the game clock here in the fourth quarter. Your Mills are leading 42 to 6. And here comes the rush off the edge for La Mesa. It's going to be number 7, Joey Gutierrez, who's going to take it up the right again. And he has a first down, staying inbounds. Clock will continue to run here. First down, Mills. 8.20 left in the fourth quarter here. The Mills are chipping away at the clock and also chipping away at the field here. Get some experience for some other players in here. 
game or play clock at 10 seconds now. Zach Hasley's still at cornerback. Edge rush looks like it's going to come off the left side there. And it's going to be a run up the gut. And it's going to go nowhere here. Looks like they're going to give him maybe a yard. Second down and nine for the Mules. So Mule Shoes offense here doing really good coming in and, and being able to go up the field, run the field, pass, and and just do a great job on managing time and then also going in and being able to convert on third downs. So here we go, fourth or number four is going to take – he's going to slide. Zach Hasley scrambles. So it's going to be Zach Hasley on the carry there. It's going to bring up – a first down for the Mules. So it'll be first and 10 for the Mules here. With seven minutes left here in the first in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Zach Hasley taking up the right side for a first down. Up to the Milshu. 34 yard line, 33 yard line, excuse me. And it looks like Hasley's coming out. Irvin Torres is coming in here. Timeout, Muleshoe. A little bit of confusion there. So play clock was getting into the single digits. Once again, Muleshoe High School senior class is going to be having a pregame dinner fiesta pal on. Muleshoe will be hosting Friona next week, Friday, September 11, 2020. Fiesta Paolan is what's on the menu with all the fixings, dessert, and tea. Sounds very delicious. Milshu High School Cafeteria is where they're going to have it. Be five from 5 to 7 p.m. No deliveries. Dine-in and carry-out only. Cost going to be $8. Make sure you see any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance or pay at the door. And they would like to thank you for your support. So first and 10 here for the Milshoe Mills. Looks like Irvin Torres at quarterback here. And Irvin Torres is gonna keep it going up the right side here. It looks like he was supposed to hand it off here. He kept himself good read Irvin Torres. First down Mills, but he's going out of bounds. Stop the clock at 6.30 here in the fourth quarter. 42-6. 42-2-6 is your score here in favor of your Mills Shoe Mills. So first and 10 here, Irvin Torres at quarterback. Joey Gutierrez to his right. So it's going to be handoff to Joey Gutierrez here. And this kid is a power runner. And here he goes. Gain of about six there. We'll take that, saying inbounds, laying the clock run. We are now under six minutes here in the fourth quarter. So about second down and four here for the Mules. Good job, Joey Gutierrez there, going up the left side, kind of finding the right gap, right seam. And here comes the Golden Tours. Look at him stack this box here. And it's going to be Joey Gutierrez going up the right side here. And there's going to be a flag here, not before Joey Gutierrez. Looks like he gets first down and more flag on the play. Let's see what it is. It's out on the top right of the screen, kind of middle of the field away from the play. But it looks like it's going to be on the mills here. So holding on the mules brings them back a little bit more than where they were. Spot of the foul. Re 525 left here in the fourth quarter. 42 to 6 is your score in favor of your mules. So second down and seven here at the Lamisa 49 yard line. 
Irvin Torres at quarterback. Joey Gutierrez to the right of Joey. It's over the head of Irvin Torres. That's going to be a big loss there. Gain some game experience in here. Get the nervousness out. For a third and very long here for the Mills. So the clock is now under four minutes and 40 seconds. So Irvin Torres is going to take it. Joey Gutierrez is going to go up the right side. He's going to cut up. Not before he's tackled. Be a gain of about a yard there. Bring up fourth down and very long for the Mills. So four minutes here left on the game clock. Fourth quarter, 42 to six is your score. Let's see, Irvin Torres is out there. I think they're gonna punt it away here. So Irvin Torres with really nice punt here. Let's see where it bounces. It's gonna take a nice little meal shoot bounce here. It's gonna be downed at the La Mesa 35 yard line. So. Lamisa forcing a stop on the meals here. Lamisa will get the ball with 341 left here in the fourth quarter. 42 to 6 your score in favor of the meals. So Lamisa going to come out once again as the teams are switching, adding kids, taking kids out. I will be going through with the numbers and rosters. Some of these kids' numbers I do not have, so I do apologize in advance. So be first and ten for La Misa here. And that looks like number twenty, Christian Ruiz at quarterback, and he's going to hand it off here, up the gut. La Misa goes gain of about five yards. Second down and five for La Misa. It's going to be number twenty-five, Tyrell Manuel. So we are now at three twenty left here in the fourth quarter. And I'd like to say that. Mealshoe has done a good job on both sides of the ball. Defense forcing turnovers, offense turning turnovers into cash money on the scoreboard tonight. 42 points so far in this game for the uh, Mealshoe Meals. It's going to be a handoff at the left side here. And that looked like Manuel again. Yeah, it's going to be Tyrell Manuel going up the left side here. Be third down and two here for the Mesa Golden Tours and got some new faces out there on the Milshu Mill defense. Let's see if they can get a stop. They won't be able to be first down and a little bit more here, but Manuel's not gonna be up to be able to get any further than really what he did. It'll be first down at the Milshu 46 yard line for the Golden Tours. So we are now approaching the two minute mark here in the fourth quarter. So first and 10 for the Lamisa Golden Tours at the Milshu 46. It's gonna be a handoff here to Tyrell again. Tyrell Manuel is gonna be met by Hosta Mills. That's gonna be a loss of maybe a yard there. Now they're going to keep it Say No gain on the play. Second down and 10 here. Minute 40 left here in the fourth quarter. Kind of a recap here. You know, Eli Macias with the touchdown. Zach Hasley with three passing touchdowns. Irvin Torres with the touchdown. Joey Martinez with three tonight. And then also Jeremiah Barone with one also. Urban Torres with the two-point conversion. Matt Fabeo with the two-point conversion. And Alex Regalado is two for three on the night for extra points. So good job all around. Defense, offense, and special teams for the Milshu Mills as they're going to take 
their first win of the season and going winless last season will be the first win in almost a year a little bit more than a year for the meals here so it's gonna be option out here to number 11 he's gonna be taken down that's Luke Martinez out there 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter 42 to 6 is your score favored the meals fourth down for the La Mesa Golden Tours once again, I'd like to say that Milshoe High School Senior Class is doing a pregame dinner next week on September 11th. Y'all should go get it. Fiesta Paolan is very delicious. All the fixings, dessert and tea, it'll be in the Milshoe High School Cafeteria, 5 to 7 p.m. No deliveries, dine-in and carry-out only. Cost is $8. See any senior student or class sponsor to buy your ticket in advance or pay at the door. So pass incomplete there. That'll be the conclusion of the game. 42 to 6. Victory Mills. Once again, your game is brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Liao's Tortilla Factory, Milshu Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Mohawk Auto Parts, Milshu Housing Authority, Aim Bank, Milshu ISD, Bywise, Hereford Feed, David and Liz Tips, Wilson Drilling, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, McDonald's, Bailey County Electric, k, &K Pharmacy, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Milshoe Area Medical Center, Dell Oil Company, McCormick Seed. Make sure that you come out and support your meals next week as we host Friona. Catch you some of that Fiesta pile on that the senior class is hosting. And make sure that you see all of our ads on Milshoe TV. That is our website. Our ads are down on the front page, Facebook pages, Gil Lamb or Channel 6 Milshoe. Follow our live stream on YouTube. And i like to say thank you to everyone who's tuned in and watched. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills. We'll see you all next week as Milshoe moves to 1-1 one one in the 2020 season. Y'all have a good night.